What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video and today we are going to get into Kalem and Meowstic's uh, Sync Grid build guide for... doesn't matter if you have 1 out of 5 or 5 out of 5, we're going to give you multiple options for each level that you're at. Uh, so first let's go ahead and check out uh, Kalem and Meowstic. Uh, they're a psychic type, weak to ghost. Um, here are their stats. Um, the speed stat is really the the standout stat for Meowstic. Um, decent HP. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a so-so for pretty much every other unit, including its bulk stat. But it's in the top 10 of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So, we'll go ahead and go down here and check out its moves. Uh, it's got Psybeam, which has a very small chance of leaving the target confused. Uh, X Speed, which sharply raises the user's speed. Again, speed's very important for Meowstic. Uh, Thunder Wave leaves the target paralyzed. And We're Not Done Yet, which restores a bit of the user's HP. The lower the user's HP, the more this raises the user's special attack. So if you're, in order to get the max uh, for raising your special attack your HP has to be under 33% uh, which it says right over here and uh, you'll be able to get plus four special attack now the sync move is mind-bending psychic its power increases if the target is paralyzed again it has where is it right here thunder wave <laughs> this becomes very important when we look at some of the builds uh, but let's check out some of the passive skills. Acuity, its accuracy cannot be lowered, so that's awesome. Uh, if we ever come across, um, like, Clement as an opponent and Hel Heliolisk, then, you know, we don't have to worry about Mudslap at all. Uh, Aggravation 1, which raises the chance of inflicting uh, flinching, confusion, or trapped condition with the additional effects of moves like Thunder Wave. So, a pretty decent, for its kit, uh, uh, passive skills. Now we'll go ahead and jump over to the actual sync grids themselves. So, I'm going to show you two level one sync grid grids, two level one sync grids, three level two sync grids, and five level three sync grids. So those are level three sync grids are for three through five. So if you have three copies or five copies of the unit and it's fully maxed out, doesn't matter. Three out of five, you get the full access to the sync grid. Uh, so let's check out the very first one out of five sync grid. Uh, what we did here was we sort of did like a uh, as much of a psi beam power up as we could. We grabbed in the upper right hand corner all the uh, Psy Beam power ups we can and the Psy Beam move gauge refresh. In the bottom right hand corner, we got Grand Entry, which raises the user's special attack when the Pokemon enters a battle. Uh, in the bottom left hand corner, we got the Thunder Wave uh, move gauge refresh and the We're Not Done Yet MP refresh, which is really good. Uh, the special attack plus five as well. And in the upper left hand corner, we were able to get the X Speed MP Refresh 3, the, another Thunder Wave MP Refresh, and the two Special Attack, or the, the Special Attack and the HP plus 20. And this gives you, this uses up all 750 or Sync Orbs, so you're not left with any like one left over sort of a th situation. And it's really good if you only have one copy of Meowstic and <laughs> you're trying to focus on doing as much damage as possible. Um, now we look at the second one. Uh, we've got, oh, this is kind of similar. We were able to get the, uh, the Psybeam move gauge refresh and the Psybeam energy plus uh, four in the upper right hand corner, just to add them. Uh, we could, mm, well, this is more of like a tank build, so I grabbed them just because we could. And uh, uh, otherwise, you know, if, if 
it's just because we had more energy left over than we needed uh, for, for what we were doing here. Uh, but this is mainly like a tank sort of build. Uh, so you've got the in the bottom right hand corner the special defense, uh, the two speeds down there in the bottom left hand corner we've got that special attack. The special defense is really important for this sort of a build. In the upper left hand corner we got the two HP plus 10s and the HP plus 20. Uh, plus the X speed MP refresh and the Thunder Wave MP refresh. So yeah, really just more of a, a tanky type build. You're able to do as many refreshes on your moves as possible. Uh, so you can get to the sync move for a Pokemon that you're supporting because this is not going to be your primary striker. Alright, now we are going to get into sync level 2 sync grid builds. So this expands it quite a bit. Like, you really don't need sync level 3 in order to make Meowstic a pretty usable, uh, uh, have, a, have a really usable sync grid. Now, what we can do here is, this is sort of like the uh, um, uh, more powered up Psybeam uh, sync grid. Grabbed all the Psybeam uh, sync grids we could that, that were sync level 2. Uh, we grabbed the uh, Psybeam move gauge refreshes. In the upper left hand corner we grab that uh, special attack plus five in the thunder wave move gauge refresh in the bottom left hand corner uh instead of getting the thun another thunder wave move gauge refresh we went ahead and grabbed the we're not done yet to boost the special attack skill uh and our hp when we need it to and we also grabbed the two special attack nodes right there in the bottom right hand corner we went ahead and grabbed the grand entry and the special attack plus 10. Remember it's to power up Psybeam as much as possible so you can spam Psybeam doing as much damage as you can. Uh, the next one is going to be a, a real like tank like self healer kind of a build. We did not we opted out of all the Psybeam stuff in the upper right hand corner so that we could get the HP plus 20, those two HP plus 10s, um, the defense node up there in the upper left hand corner. In the bottom left hand corner we got that other HP plus 20, the special defense plus 10, we're not done refresh. Um, in the bottom right hand corner we were able to get the we're not done yet master healer 2 which increases the amount of HP restored to the user's healing moves. Now again, this is so you can heal yourself as much as possible and stay in the game. Um, you'd have to figure out and play with the team builds to see uh, how effective this would be with um, your typical strikers like your Charizards, your Mewtwo's. Like having him, so having him with this build, Meowstic, with this build, plus Mew, plus Mewtwo, Mewtwo be being your main striker, Mew and Meowstic being your uh, support units for Mewtwo, because Mewtwo has one of the lowest bulk stats in the game, this would actually be pretty, like, I would, I would use this. I'm going to test this out. <laughs> That's what I'll do, is I'll test it out later on. Uh, so, not bad build for doing sort of like a tank self healer um all right so our third sync level two build is going to be uh kind of like a, a support type thing in the upper left hand corner we went all the way up and grabbed the pump up uh two which charges the move gauge of all allied sync pairs by two after using a sync move and the x X speed prep rally one, which raises the speed of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. So, you know, you're really just trying to help out your teammates as much as, as, much as possible here. We also got the two Thunder Wave MP refreshes. Um, we also went into the bottom uh, right hand corner and grabbed the uh, special defense plus 10, the defense plus 10, bottom left hand corner, the defense, special defense plus 10 as well. Those two uh, HP plus 10s in the upper left hand corner. And, uh, you know, we're trying to use as many sync orbs as we can for the specific build that we got. 
Uh, so this one leaves you with just one remaining uh, energy. Uh, so it's pretty decently built out. And it's a decent sort of support type build if you want to build Meowstic that way. Now guys, before we continue, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters content. I always forget to say that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Alright, so now we're getting into our very first level 3 and up uh, fully synchroded out synchrids. Uh, so this one, in the upper left hand corner, we went ahead and did sort of like this S pattern to get the special attack, the, a the HP plus 20, the pump up 2, and the Paralys Paralysis Synergy 5, which powers up moves when the target is paralyzed. Now, if we look back uh, at uh, our uh, sync move, the sync move power is increased if the target is paralyzed. Combine that with Paralysis Synergy, which powers up moves when the target is paralyzed. And then you add in all the special attack nodes that we got, plus the two Thunder Wave MP refreshes, and you're looking at a pretty serious dealing kind of uh, <laughs> attacker here. That's also why we got the the uh, uh, Psybeam plus four nodes in the upper right hand corner, so we powered up Psybeam as much as we could. Um, Again, we got the special attack plus 10 in the bottom right hand corner, the two special attack plus 5s in the bottom left hand corner. And we used up all the energy that we could for this. Um, really, really strong uh, sync grid for Meowstic. Uh, but not the uh, sync bomb grid. We'll get to that one later. Uh, this next one is sort of like a. Uh, even more powered up version of the tank self healer. Uh, so we've got the, um, the 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 real thing that we got here is the HP plus twenty in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, that special defense node in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, the defense plus ten in the bottom right hand corner plus the special defense plus ten there, and the we're not done yet master healer two, uh, and also the new one we got because of sync level 3. Emergency Huddle 1, which once per battle raises the defense of all allied sync pairs when in a pinch. Now, this could come in handy a lot, <laughs> especially in like Battle Villa, where your back's against the ropes a lot of the times as you're going up the levels, the, the halls. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner, we went ahead and grabbed the uh, 2 HP plus 10s, uh, the special attack plus 5, the thunder wave, uh, move gauge refresh, and the HP plus 20. Uh, you know, just to build out the, the tankiness a bit. Alright guys, so the next sync grid that we're going to check out is the maxed out uh, Psybeam sync grid that we can possibly do. Uh, if you notice in the bottom left hand corner, we couldn't quite get the special attack plus 5s over there uh, because of not having enough energy for the other stuff that we did. I opted, instead of getting those two special attack plus fives, to get the grand entry plus one, which raises the user's special attack when you enter the battle, and that special attack plus 10, and the two uh, special attack plus fives that we get, well, the three actually, uh, that we get normally. Now in the upper right hand corner, this is where all the magic's happening. We get all the special, uh, the, the side beam power-ups right there plus the two uh, move gauge refreshes for Psybeam. So we are just doing as much damage as possible as soon as Meowstic gets on the field. Uh, so it's a really strong uh, synchrid build for Meowstic. Uh, but, you know, I would actually prefer to use uh, the one where we have Paralysis Synergy, uh, just because his kit is more built out to be like to 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 really use that sync move on them now the next one that we're going to check out is a uh kind of like a another sort of like striker type build but it's like a tech striker it's weird 
So what you're going to do is, uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, we're going to grab Grand Entry again. Uh, we're also going to get the Fuzzy Strike 5, which powers up moves when the target is confused. The bottom left-hand corner, we're going to get the Confusion Synergy 5, which powers up moves when the target is confused. Are you seeing a theme here? And this is very important for this kind of build. You need to get Aggravation 1, which raises the chance of flinching, confused, or trapped condition with the additional effects of moves. Now if we remember back to our passive skill, we also have Aggravation 1 as a passive skill. So we're really leaning into the fact that we can use Thunder Wave, which we're getting both the Thunder Wave MP refreshes here and the special attack uh, plus fives in the upper left hand corner and the bottom left hand corner and the one in the upper right hand corner to get uh, <laughs> essentially our target paralyzed plus flinching or confused or trapped whichever the game decides that it gets and we can uh, just hit it as many times as we can because again it's confused it's paralyzed it's flinching uh, it's a real disruptive kind of sync grid and the very last sync grid that we're going to check out is indeed the sync bomb grid now it's a very unique looking grid so in the upper right hand corner we're sort of using this because of the amount of energy that we have to use we can only use so much in certain places so we're going up from the in the upper right hand corner getting the special attack plus five the side beam plus four then we're crossing over getting the sync move uh, plus 25 then we're going to get the defense plus 10 the HP plus 20 and then the paralysis synergy because remember sync move is powered up when your targets paralyzed paralysis synergy powers up moves when the target is paralyzed we're going to grab that uh, thunder wave move gauge refresh we aren't going to grab the other one just because it's we don't have enough energy for it but trust me you're, you're going to be plenty fine with just the one move gauge refresh for thunder wave in the bottom right hand corner Grand Entry, so we get our special attack raise when we enter. The special attack plus 10. We're also going to get uh, Fuzzy Strike 5 so that we can connect to the Sync Grid. Uh, uh, the Sync Move uh, plus 25. So this is, you know, uh, Meowstick doesn't have too many uh, Sync Move power ups, but again, you're getting powered up sync grid or sync move i keep saying sync grid you're getting a powered up sync move when the target is paralyzed on top of even more so with paralysis synergy 5 uh but yeah guys this will do it for kalem and meow sticks uh one out of five to five out of five sync grid build guide uh if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below and uh yeah Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters content. I'll see you in the next one.